गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक इन द एस एस टी क्लास ऑफ सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन टेक आउट योर बुक ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स येस्टरडे आई स्टार्टेड द लेसन नंबर फाइव ऑफ हिस्ट्री द चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन अंडर विच आई डिस्कस्ड द टॉपिक्स द चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन सोर्सेज ऑफ हिस्ट्री टू मेन फीचर्स ऑफ द चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन विच आर सोसाइटी एंड रिलीजन नाउ Before we start today's topics I want to take feedback of previous topics through some questions So my first question is what is the location of China second name the important rivers of China third which river is known as sorrow of China and why number fourth question is what are the sources of information for the Chinese civilization fifth How many dynasties were ruled over China? Sixth, who was the head of the family during the Chinese civilization? And the number seventh question is, who led the doctrine of Confucianism? Children, I hope you all are capable to answer all these questions. In today's class, we are going to read next main feature of the Chinese civilization, that is. means of living under which we will read the variety of occupations now have a look on the important terms related to the today's topics number 1 term is sericulture the rearing of silk worms to make silk number 2 term is porcelain a white vitrified translucent ceramic number 3 timber wood prepared for use in building and carpentry number 4 inlet ornament by inserting pieces of a different material in it number 5 ivory a hard white substance made from the tusks of an elephant number 6 vessel bowl or cask number 7 smelting to extract metal from its ore by a process involving heating and melting number 8 jade a hard and green stone number 9 chopsticks a pair of small thin and tapered sticks of wood used as eating utensils now let's start reading means of living the chinese were involved in a variety of occupations a agriculture agriculture was practiced by a majority of people this necessitated the construction of canals both for irrigation and drainage the chinese used iron implements in their fields so students agriculture was the main occupation of the large number of people in the chinese civilization so for the irrigation and drainage purpose there was a need of construction of canals and the chinese used iron implements in their fields the main crops grown were rice wheat barley millet soybean sorghum buckwheat and tea the chinese were the first to cultivate tea children you are aware about these crops like rice wheat you eat chapatis of wheat you are aware about oats oats is a kind of millet soybean pints in a form of oil and nutrellas you eat is also a form of soybean next crop is sorghum sorghum is a kind of feed of animals buckwheat is also an another kind of uh, wheat and you all are aware about tea and who were the first to cultivate tea the chinese were the first to cultivate tea start reading next paragraph initially dried tea leaves were used as medicine later on tea became the favorite drink of the chinese China was the only producer and exporter of tea in the whole world for centuries. Chinese used dry tea leaves as their medicine and later on tea became the favorite drink of the Chinese. And the Chinese were the first to cultivate tea and export it. Means first exporter of tea were Chinese. exporter means who sends goods from one country to another so china was the first exporter of tea in the whole world for hundred of years point b domestication of animals pig sheep 
chicken and cattle were domesticated mainly by the poor people living in villages chicken and geese were the source of eggs and flesh oxen and buffaloes were used to plow the fields so children these were the animals domesticated by the chinese people these animals were the source of income for them they sold the eggs and flesh of chicken and geese to earn income oxen and buffaloes were used to plow their fields now the c point is sericulture children you learn about sericulture in the important terms sericulture means the rearing of silk worms to make silk the chinese were the first to make silk they had domesticated silk worms on mulberry trees about 4000 years ago the chinese women excelled in the craft of weaving silk initially silk was an expensive luxury item purchased only by the members of the royal family but with the introduction of the silk weaving machinery in 100 bc the use of silk became quite common so children who were the first to make silk the chinese how they domesticated silk worms they had domesticated silk worms on mulberry trees the chinese women excelled excelled means excellent in the craft of weaving silk they weave silk with their hands so this was a very tough process to make silk so due to this reason silk was very expensive expensive means very costly and poor people could not afford it but when chinese introduced silk weaving machinery in 100 bc the use of silk became quite common next is pottery making the chinese were perfect in making glazed pottery from porcelain their beautiful utensils bottles chess boards boxes candlesticks vases cups saucers bowls jugs and jars became famous as china ware they were known for their glossy surface and decorative patterns the factories of porcelain were located at ching te chen or jing di jen first of all understand the meaning of glaze glaze is a thin layer of liquid which is used to make pottery hard and shiny so children in simple words pottery means utensils made up of soil and porcelain means sugar soil so the chinese were perfect in making pottery from porcelain there are a variety of utensils of porcelain like bottles chess boards candlesticks vases cups etc you can find it at your home also these porcelain utensils are known as china ware and the factories of porcelain were located at ching te chan or jing di jen next occupation is carpentry woodwork was one of the chief occupations of the people as china was rich in timber the chinese gave preference to wood over stone or brick they constructed buildings out of timber bamboo which was imported from india was used in combination with wood the carpenters made comfortable couches armchairs and tables polished wood was used to make the palace walls objects of wood inlaid with ivory were also in use children carpentry means wooden work china was rich in timber timber is a kind of wood used in buildings and carpentry they construct buildings out of timber bamboo is a kind of wood which sent from india to china they mixed bamboo with timber and with this combination of wood chinese carpenters made comfortable couches armchairs and tables some other important objects of wood like inlet inlet means inserting pieces of different material with ivory you read the meaning of ivory in the important terms ivory is used to make ornaments and other articles were also used by chinese carpenters metal work the chinese also excelled in making weapons statues and vessels out of metals bronze was highly used the metallic objects were decorated with figures of animals or sometimes casted like an animal figure 
iron was also used but not so extensively weapons and tools of cast iron dated 400 bc have been found in china it is supposed that china borrowed the technique of smelting iron ore from the far west Students, the Chinese were also excellent in making weapons, statues and vessels with metals. To making these articles, Chinese used the metal of bronze the most. These metallic objects were beautifully decorated with figures of animals. You can see a picture of bronze wine vessel in the shape of an owl on your book. Iron was also used but not so widely. And it is also said that China learnt or followed the method of melting metals from the four west countries. Next is Jade Carving. Jade is a precious stone which the Chinese used in making screens, chopsticks and other everyday articles. Jade is a precious hard and green stone which is used for ornaments and implements and also used to make other articles like sticks of wood used as eating utensils. The next occupation is manufacture of paper. Paper was produced in China in AD 105. It was originally made from tree bark, hemp, rags, fishing nets and small pieces of silk. Various qualities and designs of paper were manufactured. So when was paper produced in China? In AD 105. The paper was originally made from tree bark. Tree bark is the hard outer covering of a tree. Hemp, a widely cultivated Asian herb. Rags, a piece of old cloth. Fishing nets and small pieces of silk. Look at this picture carefully. This is the figure of Kailun of the Eastern Han dynasty who invented the world's first batch of paper by using fishing nets, tree bark, bits of rope and rags. So students, my today's topic is over and your homework is to reread the means of living of Chinese civilization and revise its terms and write it in your copies. Have a nice day.